So we're just getting ready to start the meeting here. It's going to be um, end of the year meeting, last meeting for Diane Butler, last meeting for Ryan Tebow. Doesn't look like Ryan's here. We may make it later. Um, I'm not sure what they're going to cover tonight other than just the year end, making sure that everything is, is set up for the new year. And um, other than that, we're not uh, sure. What's going to happen in this meeting? I've never been to a year in before, but we're going to find out, and you're going to find out with this. So stay tuned. Don, who's manning each of these cameras? Who's manning each one? Carol. And she's not going to answer either. I'm just going to call the police again. I've had it. And you cannot get up out of your seat after the meeting has started, as you know, because that's in the policy. So I'd like to know who's manning the camera, since there's one camera and microphone per person. I just had it. Didn't think you were making it, Ryan. Yeah. I'm calling 901 again because I've had it with this nonsense every month. Hi. Just glad it's my last one. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi, Preston. How are you? I'm good. Hi, Ryan. <laughs> Good to see you. Hey, Ryan. Just to hold up my meeting again. Serious. 
There's a, a stack of supervisor reports that I'll get through. Can I have an officer come out to the town hall again in Westernville, New York, please? We have another issue today. So they were out um, 9219 Main Street in Western Rock. 9219 Main Street. Three one five two eight one five five nine eight. Diane Butler. Diane. So uh, last month, last meeting, the police were out here again and strictly let our quote unquote First Amendment auditor know that our policy for recording of meetings um, to follow the policy. We made changes at the last meeting. The um, sheriff's deputy asked us to send a copy to Don Peavy, which we did. Today he has four cameras up. Only one of them is manned that I can see. He refuses to answer me as to who what, who is manning the other cameras. I have not asked him to leave. He does not even acknowledge that we're speaking to him. And I also asked his friend Carol. She also refuses to answer the question. So I have not asked him to leave. I would really like an officer to come out and ask him to leave. Okay. We do have copies of reports for you if I want that. Okay. Yes, okay. of course we do. They're all stacked together. I didn't separate them. Oh. Yes. I so we sent him the policy. We redo the policy. It doesn't say that he can't have cameras. It says that every camera has to be manned in this room. I have four cameras in this room. He is not answering me as to who is manning each camera. He refuses to acknowledge any of us speaking here. He does know. He knows that he can have cameras but he does know that it has to be one camera per person and that he cannot walk around the room. <coughs> that would be great. I would appreciate it. Okay. Okay. I'm the town supervisor. He wears glasses, he's got a plaid shirt on, black pants, black shoes tonight. Flood. It wasn't bad. No? No. Mm -hmm. It came out really fast. It did. I'm using carpet because I always wear plaid and black. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> and you can't find it. 
Thank you. Bye. So we're not gonna start till the deputy comes. He can have a conversation with everybody else, just can't acknowledge us. So. They did not tell me. And I'm like, and I said to him, I said, I cannot do it. I'm going to be on a ship and then getting on a ship. So it doesn't seem fair that if you make a reservation, they should be right. obligated right. for that reservation. If they have to change if because they're canceled, then change. you should be right. refunded. And that's what I said to him, I said, I didn't make this change. You made this change. <laughs> so I'm gonna still fight them when I'm like, my they put a supervisor on the phone, but I'm going further on this because I'm going to. The way the federal DOT was running after the airlines, you know, you probably could get your money back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I am going to fight them. Oh, that makes sense. That's a special credit. Because they're going to have to pay more money. So now I'm taking a train from Miami to Orlando and then okay. Ubering from Orlando to the uh, ship. <coughs> <laughs> so the train I leave at 9.50 and then I get there at 12.15. No. Right. All right. Before they walk to the down the Really? Yeah. yeah. They, were, they were supposed to go to the Bahamas. Apparently the weather was so bad. That's 
so it's not safe to sail there. So they ch just changed the accent. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We went from Boston up the Atlantic coast to or, you know, Nova Scotia. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. wow. You're not, you're hoping you're going to be in the Caribbean. The Caribbean. Yeah. <laughs> in Boston. <laughs> because uh, Don Peavy refuses to answer my question about these cameras. We will pause when the sheriff show us, um, though. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So this meeting is just two zero books um, for the year, so it's our year-end meeting. I did add a couple things, though, for new business that we really need to talk about tonight. Nothing big, and then it shouldn't be a long meeting. Um, so, Don or Missy, one of you want to go um, talk about the warrants real quick? Okay. okay, the total general fund amount is $75,992.24. The total highway fund account um, is $2783.84. And the grand total for both of the, the funds is 78,776.08. There you go, $76,776.08. 76, there you go. Okay. And um, she called National Grid and stuff to get the current um, amounts that we owe so that we can bring it right up to speed. Good. But I skipped over the minutes, so let's just backtrack real quick. Did anybody have any questions or comments on the minutes? I was not here, so I'm Right, and Ryan was not here, right? You and I were here. Yeah, so do I have a motion to approve? I make a motion to approve. Yeah, it's a second. second oh, okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Nice job, Don, with the minutes, by the way. Yes. Okay. Don and Melissa, um, once minutes are approved, if within a few days uh, someone could just send an electronic copy to me, and then I'll post them up to the website. Okay. Yeah. Um, Okay, so any questions on a warrant? Mm -hmm. When we zero our, our accounts, we're just going to take into consideration the warrant too when we look at these accounts, okay? Mm -hmm. So um, I sent around the news. I'll make a motion to oh. pay the bills. Oh, I'll, I'll second that okay. motion. Okay, yeah. all in favor? Aye. Okay, I was going to do it after we did this. That's good. Um, so Ben sent us updated reports based on uh, revenue from the month and paid and based on the bills that he paid last month. Mm -hmm. So uh, the abstract is here and um, doesn't give me a total, but we all know the total from last month, the bills that he paid. Um, and then I deposited this month $470,000. So you'll find that in the accounts that um, they were allocated to. The CHIPS money was the, the bulk of that. And so that should have been added to the CHIPS fund. Mm -hmm. So if we look and see what accounts we are negative on, I guess we could start there, right? So we'll start with the general fund. Okay. And detailed expenditures. Okay, 
So the general fund itself right now has $1,448,183.91 in it. The highway fund has $375,536.04 in it. And then we have our reserve accounts that have not changed. Okay. Did you guys have a chance to look at this when I sent it around? Yes. Okay. Larry, you want to make any comments? Uh, okay. Uh, for the ones that we wanted to zero out yep. on the general fund, I assume we'll take the money to make it easier from the contingent account, so that way the transfers will be easier. Sure. So we'll be taking the money from A1990.4. Is that? Okay. Uh, so the first one is A1110.1. Minus two hundred and fourteen dollars and thirty cents? Yes. Uh-huh. Two hundred and fourteen dollars and how much? Thirty cents. Okay. So you want to take that from the A nineteen ninety point four. Yeah, everything mm -hmm. should come from that. Account. Okay, right. I've got that. Okay. So we're gonna zero this one out yep. from contingent, okay? And then the next one I have listed is A thirteen twenty point one. Right. For eighteen hundred. Right. Tell me if I go too fast for you guys. You're good. You're good. Okay, um, A1320.4 for a total of $684.56. Okay. Then A1330.1 for $5.98. Mm -hmm. And then a thirty, no, a thirteen thirty point four for three hundred and thirteen dollars and eighty cents. Mm -hmm. um, we probably should zero out that minus four cents. Too. Yes. <laughs> um, a thirteen fifty five point one for a big total of four cents. <laughs> and then. A fourteen ten point one for a total of six hundred and forty three dollars and sixty seven cents. Sixty seven cents. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and oh, okay. One more. And A ninety thirty point eight. Point eight, you said. Yep. Yeah. 9030.8 for $96.11. Okay. And that's all I have. Okay, so looking at the warrant with the state retirement, we're going to be in the hole there. Now, the problem is state retirement doesn't break out Preston versus the guys. So I always have to call and ask them, which I am not done yet. But we're going to have to pull that money from somewhere anyway to zero it out in the meantime. Oh, okay, I hear that because, it's coming out of the highway. It's, but Preston doesn't come out of the highway fund. That's right, okay. Well, we got 55 in there. Do you think that will... I'm not sure. Uh, if something goes in a negative, it really doesn't matter anyway. You right, no, I, I realize that. But the bill for New York State retirement was 66000 yeah. Six guys, right? So $1,000 a piece. That's what. Or $1,100 oh, no, piece. Right, that's what I say. It's 10, like 10000 per person. But well, why not? So you know, for a caution, we could throw another 5000 in that's there. That's how I feel, yeah. So it would be close. Yeah. Okay. So let's transfer 5000 into this account. From that 1990.4? Yes. Yeah. Into A9010.8. Yeah. A Ninety ten point eight. <coughs> Where are we putting it again? Five thousand. Because that state retirement bill is everything left. Okay, okay, so I forgot about that. Did you say eight thirteen fifty five point four was overdrawn or no? Thirteen. No. Thirteen. No, that's good. Fifty five. <coughs> you said point four though, right? <coughs> Which one are you asking? Point one, thirteen fifty-five point one. By four cents. Four cents. Yeah, four cents. Okay, but point four is good. I'm just looking at the warrant compared yes. to what we what nine accounts we were yeah. looking at. Yeah, we got nine hundred dollars in there. Okay. <coughs> and then fifteen twenty point four. Thirteen ten. 
most of Lawrence Electric and office supplies? Yes, yeah, so we had to do one of the accounts for electricity? No. Oh, okay. No, we're good. Okay. You're saying most of the, yeah. Most okay. Of the time yeah. Time. yeah. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that we were okay. So we'll transfer money into the Social Security for Preston. Yeah. Okay. Did you look at DA too or no? Yeah. Okay. So first of all, do I have a motion? Did you total these up for out of the A1990? No, I didn't. Can we do that real quick? You can beat one. Okay, so $214.30. <coughs> Eighteen hundred, six eighty four fifty six, three thirteen eighty, four cents, six forty three sixty seven, That's what I get. Oh, and then the 5500 into the Social Security account. I have on 598. Did you list a 598? No, she didn't say that. And then on 9611, 1330.1, it was 598. What's the account number? A1330.1. I'm doing it. It was 598. $5. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Yep. And then did you list um, 9030.8 for the 9611? Sure. You got it. Okay. Yeah, this is what I've got, and then, and then the, you're moving fifty five hundred. Yes. Okay. All right. I've got about ninety thirty point eight. No, we're moving five five thousand. That's what uh, I thought you okay. said. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, but we do have fifty five in there. <coughs> you can start over. You want me to start over? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Eight thousand seven hundred fifty-eight and forty-six cents. I did it twice. Eight thousand seven seven hundred and fifty-eight and forty-six cents. It came out the same twice. Good job. Okay, so then that will come out of the A1990.4, mm -hmm. which will leave A1990.4 with how much money? Because you didn't figure that out either, right there? No, no, no. <laughs> I, I knew we had like over fifty thousand. Yeah, so yeah. let's see if you can minus fifty-four thousand eight forty-three. 27 from $8,758.46. She's locked. $46,084.81. Okay, thank you. What was that again, Missy? $46,084.81. Okay, and then we'll go to the highway fund. Mm -hmm. So the first one I'm seeing is short is DA fifty one twelve point two. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think we can take that from DA fifty one ten point one. That's the, the sum of payroll and stuff. What were we taking? So Fifty-one ten point one. So we'll take out uh, four thousand three hundred and thirty-two dollars and one cent. So this is a salary account. Yeah. Does it matter? Which account right now is winter? It's down. Um, Below here, um, uh, fifty-one forty-two is okay. uh, personal services for winter, and then fifty-one forty-two is you know the fuel, okay, all the same and all that stuff. Okay. 
So can we minus 53, 12, 83? It wasn't. So the, total, the amount right now is 53, 12, 83, $5,312.83. 5, and then minus four, the 4,000. 980 and 82 cents. 980, 82? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, then the next one where we're short is Bridges. Mm -hmm. 5120.4. Mm-hmm. I thought we could take that out of the uh, maintenance of roads, 5110.4, because we have 17,000 left there. 5110.4. No, these are just suggestions. 5110.4. Okay. So if we minus the 17,000, 771.32. 7.31. 10.32. Minus what? Uh, what are we taking? Minus ten thousand nine hundred five dollars. No change. No change. Six thousand eight hundred and sixty-six and thirty-two cents. Six thousand eight hundred and sixty-six. Sixty-six and thirty-two. Thirty-two. Yeah. And then are you guys set? Mm -hmm. Next one we're short is machine <coughs> machinery fifty one thirty point four by uh, eight thousand nine hundred eighty three dollars. So we can we have to take it out of two accounts, I think. Yeah, I do too. So um, zero up to ten dot four. <coughs> yeah, we can take the sixty eight sixty six thirty two out of there, and then the remainder we can take out of the. 51, 10.5. We have eight grand there. You have to start over. Okay. I messed us all up. Okay, yes, no problem. Problem. please, I'm sorry. Right. No, no problem. So, you want to know where we're taking it from okay. or where it's, it's going to? It's first? going to 51, 30.4. Right. So, we're going to take $6,866.32 from 51, 10.4. So, they'll be zero they're after they're they zero. And then we'll have to figure out the difference. The remainder will come from 51, 10.5. So can you add that up? Okay. So I have 68. So put your 10,000, 10, or sorry, 8,983. Okay, so let me just stop you real quick. So DA 5130.4 has $478.73 coming out, $203.83 coming out. $80 coming out, $415.46 coming out, and $96.96. So we need to add that in, and the $126.88. So we need to add that in. What's that ballpark? What, 3400 did you say? Uh, let's see. 415, 5, 10, say, 7, 13, 1,000. Yeah, right around $1,000. Okay, so why don't we put in two thousand extra? Okay. Or let's see, we're at eighty nine. Let's instead of making it hard, eighty nine, twenty nine, let's make it even eleven thousand okay. that we're going to move in. So we'll take sixty eight, sixty six, thirty two out of DA fifty one ten point four, and then we're right. going to take the rest of it out of right to make sure that we have eleven. Fifty one ten point five will be the rest. Yeah. Okay. Have so have so we're bit. starting numbers at eleven thousand dollars. Yes. Oh God, you guys. We're going to move a total of. <laughs> we're moving a total of eleven thousand. Eleven thousand, and then deduct this. Eight nine eight three and five. Six thousand. Six thousand. Eight hundred and sixty-six dollars and thirty-two cents. It's forty-one thirty-three. So that's the remainder. That's got to come from. Another. Somewhere. Four thousand one hundred and thirty-three yep. and sixty-eight cents. So we're short that much, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's on the fifty-one thirty-point four account. So that zeroed out. Yeah, yep. zeroed out which one? That zeroed out the the fifty-one ten dot four. Right. So going to the DA fifty-one ten point five, there's eight thousand one hundred eighty-two dollars and ninety-two cents in there. Right. So we're short what now? 
Wait, so yeah, we shouldn't be short. So um, I'm sorry. from the other account. Oh, I mean. right there. You're gonna put this number in it and deduct that. Yeah, so eight thousand one hundred and eighty two ninety two. Dot nine two minus so it's four thousand forty nine dollars yep. and twenty four cents. And that's what you'll have in that after that zero. Okay. Four thousand forty nine dollars and twenty four cents. And that was which one we need zero? That's left in Okay, now. so that'll be in fifty one ten point five exactly. after we zero out which one? Yes. Okay. That four thousand will be left in the ten five. Okay. So the next one will be, we need to add money to DA 5140.4. 5140.4. We need to add $226.56. So we should take it from that same account. 5110.5. Yep. So that's 226. So what was it? Four thousand forty-nine. Twenty-four, right? Yeah. Two twenty-six. Two twenty-six. Two twenty-six. Fifty-six. It's three thousand eight hundred and twenty-two and sixty-eight cents. Okay. That's it, right? Oh, I see. Um, no, we got the oh, state so retirements. But oh, right. Now I'm thinking there was 60000 in there, though. Right, 3822 right. I just slid it on mine because I forgot that we had to pull it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. So we should right. that 68. Mm -hmm. And that's left in that 5110. Yep. Okay. So all those accounts will be zeroed out, and we're good with our bills. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'll make that motion for those budget cancels. Okay. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Good job, Larry. Thank yes, you. thank you. That was great. One more thing I'd like to bring up before we leave the supervisor's report. Okay. Um, we're going to have a snow plow to buy next year and then maybe another one in a year or two. I was just thinking maybe we should move a little bit of money into the capital reserves. Mm hmm even if it's only 20,000. Mm -hmm. 20, so, which reserve account do you want to use? It'll go into the machinery, machinery capital okay. reserve. Okay. And how much do you want to transfer? Well, um, there's not too much money in each of these accounts. Um, winter payroll. Do we have any more money? We're all done for <coughs> 2023. Yeah, yes, uh, payroll next Friday. But will Thursday. that come out of 2023? Yes. No, it come out of 2024. It'll come out of 2024. Mm, I think it's their last one that's coming up. What's the, pay, what's the yeah, last the, day of the pay yeah, period? The pay period, Sun, or Saturday. Oh, the 30th? Yeah. So okay. that'll be out of yeah. 2023. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't see any other place really where we have one left over. Do we have to do that now? Well, it has to be done before the end of the year. Yeah. Yeah. Preston, do you see anywhere to take that from? How much do you want? Larry wants 20000 Well, anything, yeah, anything is better than nothing. Yeah, you only have those two lines in the, in the winter fund, right? Yeah, we have the, the 5142.4. Right, 1.1. Yeah. Um, what if we took 15,000 out of the 0.4? Because you're not going to have any more bills for that, right? Um, no. We need some salt, but we can wait. Well, yeah, this time, even if you ordered it now, the time you came, the bill came in, it wouldn't right. be until next year. It wouldn't be, yeah, it wouldn't be until next yeah. month. So what if we put 15,000? Okay. Any, any little bit will help. From, from DA 5142.4? Yes. And that's going into which one? Your capital reserve for machinery. Okay, so uh, did you want to roll a little bit out of the point one as well or no? 42, 51, 42. How much is your payroll? About 10 grand? Good Lord, and transports oh, point no. one. And that's going to? Six, I think. To the capital. What was, what was it going to, Larry? It's going into uh, H2, capital reserve machinery. Okay. Now, just as a reminder, you either have to you either have to allocate that money right now to that truck that you would have to name or 
when it's time to use it, you have to have a public hearing. That's all. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Which will have Just a public reminder. hearing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's better not to allocate it to a specific yeah. machine. Um, something breaks, then you're yeah. screwed. Right. Um, Preston mentioned that what we could do is from the payroll, since there's just one more payroll, we could, I could, we could take another 10 grand out of that. That'll leave them, you know, 18,000. Your payroll's going to be less than 10, so that'll still give them a buffer there. 10 grand out of what account? Uh, 51.42.1. Oh, okay. One and, that, and that'll give us the 25,000. Okay. How much are we taking out of that? Uh, 10 grand, uh, 10,000. I just to make sure this isn't the chair stuff. Just so I'll get this. So we got 25. Hello? 25, yeah. Yes. <clears throat> I just wanted to try to build up a buffer so when we get a $350,000 yes. bill. That's correct. It'll help. Yes, he is. Yeah, we used to. We did it every year. Yeah. Prior. I don't like this. No, this is very hard. Okay, to... thank you. I didn't okay. have the time to get my highlighters off. Just share, so I know so they're still <laughs> working and coming out. Okay. Um, so okay. I'll make so do we need to change those amounts then? Or um, want, want me to review it with you? Yeah, could you please? Yes. Um, so we're taking out of DA 5142.4, 15000 to H2 Capital Reserve Machinery. Okay. And then from DA 5142.1, we're taking $10,000 to H2 Capital Reserve Machine. Right. So that way we have a total of 25. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yes, uh, did we get the motion? Oh, okay, so I just want to have a total in okay. the account after okay. we transfer that. Yeah. Oh, okay. 25,000. So bring it up to 160, right? If my yes. math is correct. Yep. Okay. Okay, Len, go ahead. I'll make a motion to make that. Move those monies. Second? I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Okay. So we're good there, right? Yep. Okay. So we're good with budget transfers? I think so. Okay. Um, let's see. So all I have left is new business. Um, number one is the swing set the library. I don't remember us scrapping that. And they need it scraps so that they can get rid of it because we talked about tearing it down because um, they were going to take it down piece by piece, dismantle it for the new stuff. So they want us to declare that scrap tonight. Who's going to take it down? I do not know. You know we, there isn't a lot of information about this grant. Seems like Mary Jo is the only one that knows much about it. So we, don't so really we can table it if you want. Us. I think we should table it. Okay. I, mean, I, I don't even. I don't, I don't even know what monies it involves. Right. Yeah. Okay. I, I didn't know anything about it. So. Yeah. So I'll let them know that we're just going to table it. Yeah. Um, vital statistics register. Uh, Missy sent in her stuff for this, but we have to actually appoint her as vital statistics registrar. I'll make that motion to appoint uh, Melissa. I'll second. Hi. All, right. All in favor, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what do they need from us? Just a copy of the minutes to do this? Because you said there's, uh, what I was told was there's a notification of appointment. I don't know what that meant. And that's all that they were waiting for. Yeah, they'll need a copy of the minutes. And then <clears> is that what it, okay. You know, and okay. I think you might have to give them a letterhead thing. Okay, well. okay, I can do that. <clears throat> um, and the only, a couple other things I had was the playground. I never um, showed you guys the pickleball signs that were in the kitchen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the pickleball yeah. signs are here. Len's going to wait till spring to have them put up. Um, and there was no cost from the county. The county did it nice. for free for us. Well, that was very nice. Very it was nice. very nice, yes. And I did thank um, Chris Birch. <coughs> yeah. And I even think you guys sent him a thank you card too. But yeah, so that was very nice. Um, and the only other thing that I have is the cleanup mess from the tornado of 2021 in the library um, lawn still. So I've asked Charlie, I sent him an email, I asked him if we could, if we made a motion tonight, if we could put Don PV on notice, that he has to have that cleaned up in 30 days or else he's going to get a daily fine. And uh, he cannot put any equipment on there with wheels because it'll sink, the ground is too soft. So I'm waiting for Charlie to respond to that. But 
um, I would like to have you guys make a motion anyway, so I can say to him See, that you guys I, did that. Well, I don't, I don't know how you can do that because it's not, it's not town property. The library property? No, this is on, no, this is on, no, this is on, this is on the library. There's, there's debris there's, on the lawn on the mowed area. Yep. Okay. So they, they can't mow where they used to mow. We're just talking just about the library property. Mm -hmm. I would find out from Charlie what, what we can do. And what but can I tell him at least that we made a motion tonight? But you can't make a motion if you don't know if we're legally able to do that. Oh, I think. Well, that was that Charlie's, you've already talked to Charlie. About I sent him an email because yeah. the recommendation was that we put him on notice. I mean, this is on well, we July of 2021. We extended it a month. Yeah, and that was months ago. Right. Yeah. That was in July. That was extended it. Well, okay, we'll talk to Charlie. You wait until you get information back from him. Okay. And then we'll, we'll move on it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'll just make a note to wait for Charlie. And then Dawn wanted to add information too. Oh, about the scanning. Um, <clears throat> we are not able to allow any one to come in and scan any documents here at the town hall at all per legal counsel and um, anyone with a foil request out there at this point for continued documentation won't be able to have anything copied or available to them until their payment to the town has been made for previous foil requests with outstanding balances Any comment? Thanks for your help on all those foil requests. Yeah, there's, oh, there's yeah. numerous requests. <laughs> yeah. Well, we just can't. And I, I said to Dawn, I said, we can't even copy anymore without having payment because she's going out of her way to copy all this stuff. And then we're waiting weeks yeah. for payment. Well, not only that, the town clerk is a part time position and they have actual work to do with this item. Right, right. And, and it has, something. unfortunately, taken precedent. And away from things that should have been done sure. that held everything up because it's not a full-time position yeah so it's unfortunate carl did you have anything i haven't had a business for, okay. the, uh, for the board i was hoping pete jr would be here tonight but i will take his place as the uh, planning board uh, as you know we've been working for well over three years now in the new zoning law <laughs> we're done we finally finished it uh, we had the, we had the, uh, the final review was the 239M by the county. Uh, in fact, I'm going to give this, this should be on the official record. This was the original uh, response back, includes the comments that the county gave us. They, they, they basically came back with recommendations. Uh, quite a few of them were pretty much the same. So we have incorporated all of those changes and we have sent back a response to the county that said we did the 239M and everything is done. And as the board, we passed a resolution uh, that basically said we've done everything they asked for and we now consider the plan to be complete. So there is a copy of that documentation. Uh, here is a printed copy of the zoning ordinance as it now stands. Uh, these two drawings here go along with it. They are part of the appendix that has the dimensional standards and the new zoning map as well. So I lay those in your hands. <laughs> it is now the town boards to act on. And on behalf of the planning board, for those of you who will not be coming back next year, we really appreciate all of the service that you've given us. You've been a great help. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <coughs> Carl, do you have an electronic version of that? So I will get you. Like, yeah, I have full electronic versions of my. Just I ran. Yeah, out no of, hurry. I ran out of uh, thumb drives. Yeah, no problem. Bill, are you here for that too, or something else? Just uh, echoing Carl's uh, Carl's statements of the board. A lot of. Significant time and effort was put into it, so we appreciate the uh, review at uh, first opportunity. Okay, great. Thank you. And uh, I just want to say on my behalf that it's been really nice working with you guys. This is my last official town board meeting, which I'm excited about, honestly. And uh, it's been a pleasure to work with all of you because you guys have been wonderful. Thank you for the work we've all done. Thanks. Thanks. I want to say that too. Thank you very much for the opportunity. I'm not going to stay on as assistant deputy, but I'm grateful that it was a good learning experience and I've learned enough. Thank you very much. <laughs>
Moving out. I did have just one other public comment. Uh, I know most of you may may know Roger White. Uh, he's been a member of the zoning board for quite a few years. He's had a couple of tough years now. He has declined to to get back on the board again. But I want to publicly acknowledge the service that he's given to the CBA. Absolutely. Thank you. He has done a wonderful job. Okay. Do I have a motion to adjourn? I'm going to wish Brian well too. Oh, I ain't going nowhere. I'll be somewhere. Well, we should be up here taking fire or something. <laughs> it's always it's all fine. Easy enough. Second. Second. All in favor? Yes. So we're kind of confused now what we need to do. I'm wondering if I'm being detained by the town to stay here until the police yeah, arrive or whether I'm free to leave. And if I leave, would I be fleeing the scene of a crime? So I just kind of don't know. Uh, I don't know what's going on. So if you got any ideas, let me know. Oh. <laughs>
So, um, let's see. So we also have a, a question as to um, why the town is looking at me specifically. Is it because I have a press pass, maybe? Uh, and they pick on the press. Maybe they just pick on the press. I don't know. Um, um, so, uh, and in any case, there's uh, four people here with four recording devices, and uh, I think the town should have probably polled each individual person to find out if they want to do a, uh, an inventory of all the equipment, then maybe they need to have an officer at the door and they, they inspect your clothing, they find out if you have any recording devices on you before you come in the building, they validate whether those devices are yours, you know, via your, your Apple ID or, uh, you know, a receipt from Walmart with your name on it. Uh, any other way that they can validate that that, that specific equipment is yours. Uh, so you'd have to bring all of that, uh, those receipts and all that information with you to the town board meeting if you're going to record because you're, you're going to have to prove, you know, if you purchased it used from someone where that... Uh, where the receipt is for that equipment that you're bringing into film with the town meeting. Because if they can't see that that is specifically your camera that you're bringing in, or your phone, then they're gonna hold you accountable for it. They're gonna say it's not yours, and they're gonna tell you you can't film. So um, that's pretty crazy. Uh, you know, I, I feel like I'm in you know, Russia or Germany, you know, you know, you know when they, they, they started telling everybody you gotta wear those armbands and stuff. And, I, I, do I got to wear an armband to come in and record the meeting to verify that I'm me and, and that my phone belongs to me and, and that the GoPro camera belongs to Carol and, and that that phone over there belongs to another constituent? So I'm, I'm really uncomfortable with what they're doing. Maybe, maybe it's just me. Maybe they're just looking at me. Maybe it's just me. And, and, and if it is just me, that's fine. Um, but yet, um, she's concerned about four cameras, and she's asking me about those cameras as if it's my issue. Well, I shouldn't say she, I'm saying the town board, because the town board is asking those questions, not just Diane, uh, the superintendent, it's the town board. So when I say she, I mean the town board. Um, so that's a, that's a pretty crazy concept to look at here. And like I said, I don't know whether I'm free to go or whether the town, maybe I should ask somebody on the town board if I'm free to go. Maybe I should just go, or if I'm being detained. Uh, uh, do you want to, do you want to bring that camera in? Yeah, just aim it over here. Can bring it in here? Yes, bring it over. Just bring it, bring it right in. Is 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 uh, any of the town board here? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Did they leave? That's a good question. Oh. <laughs> Let's go out this way and see if they're in the hallway. Come on, Carol. So, is any of the town board here? Are they outside? Uh, they they went outside to talk. I I I couldn't tell you what they were. Come on. Come on out, Carol. Is, hey, Lynn, is Larry here still? Or Diane? Or did they leave? Larry or Diane? I don't know if Diane's car is here now. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, thank you. Come back in. I'm just, I'm just not sure whether I'm free to go. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't want to leave the scene. Fleeing, you know, the scene of a crime. I, I just, so I'm, I'm concerned because I'm not, Larry, am, am I free to go or am I being detained here for the police? Talk to Diane. Diane would know? So you don't know. Yeah, thanks for your help, Larry. Lonnie sent me that, what she's calling. Jerk. Okay, come on. Let's, let's ask Diane. Diane, I need to know if I'm oh, being sorry. detained for the police or if I am free to go. Am I being detained by the town? Goodbye, Don. 
I, I, am I free to go? Goodbye, Don. I don't want to flee the scene of a crime. The police disregarded it. The town supervisor was turned in for making a felonious call. Um, I'm going to get my camera down now that's in the corner. Okay. Well. Back it up. Let's go. And this is your phone, Karen? Yes. Thank Can you. you reach the camera? Yes. I will, I will, get, I will get that for you. Um, so... We did, we did try to cover with the, uh, with the um, town supervisor whether or not I was free to go or whether I was being detained by the town until the police get here. She wouldn't answer me. So apparently, I just am hoping that if I leave the scene of the crime that I'm not going to be arrested at a later date. For something that's happening here, there's I, I, I couldn't get an answer from Larry Merrick. He's the can, uh, town uh, councilor. Uh, uh, I, I couldn't get an answer from uh, Diane, who's the town supervisor. Someone did walk up to me and say that the um, that the call was canceled by the by the by the police, but we'll uh, we'll find out here. Can can I get? Are you okay with that? Yep, I got it. Okay. Yep, we pull it right out. It's out. Just pull it. It's out. Pull it. Oh, that's nice. We are tossed, we are driven on the restless sea of time. Sun was and how the tempest off the sea to bright sunshine. In that land of perfect day, when the mist are rolled away, we will understand it better by and by. By and by, when the morning comes, well, the saints are gone together home. We will tell the story of how we've overcome and we'll understand it better by and by. This is good. This is an oath of office um, for a request that I made for the incoming office uh, officers, and so that's going to be uh, another foil that I'll need to make after 30 days. So that's very good. Very positive feedback from Don Holtz, the outgoing town uh, clerk. Awesome. Hmm? She gave it to me. Okay, so that's it from the town hall. I'm going to go home, and uh, maybe I should call the sheriff and ask them if I'm going to be detained at some point in time. If I'm, you know, I just don't want any, any problem. <gasps> Have a good night. Thanks for being with me. See you guys later. Oh, we're working on it, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're sorry. Yeah. Yeah. And there's your phone. One, two, three. He's got one camera. You've got that. She's got that. Perfect. See you later, Melissa. Bye, Melissa. Have a good New Year. Have a good New Year. Thoughtless word and deed. And we wonder why the test when we try to do our best. We'll understand it better. It's all gone.